Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace be with you everybody. Now today I'm just going to be talking about good and bad is from Allah. Now you're probably thinking, what am I talking about? Good and bad is from Allah? Yeah, I mean like, look, in a whole the whole context of the Quran, uh, Allah states that, you know, not even a leaf falls to the ground without Allah knowing and by the will of Allah. So anything that bad happens to you, that... The, that basically is due to Allah allowing it to happen. Now, Allah clearly states in the Quran that good is from Allah and bad is from your own error and from the shaitan. So, this is on a sense that is basically choices that you make, you do, etc, etc. Um, and... In, in saying that, you want to have your intentions completely, completely, completely in line with what Allah wants. You, so you want to do good for Allah's sake. You want to be the best for Allah's sake. You want to do... It's just say, for example, if you want to be a doctor, you want to save lives and be good for Allah's sake. And also be in line with that as well like uh, you want to if you're good at it then great but obviously if you try your best you do everything and you're still not good at it then you know what it's from Allah you know what I mean it's not meant to be it's uh, you can't do nothing about it you know what I mean so if you've tried everything all you put all your eggs your intent in one basket and your intention is perfect for Allah's sake and still, still nothing happens, then you know what, it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, you know, what can you do, it's up to Allah to decide that. So, now th things like calamities, like people, you know, like um, diseases, etc, like that, now, if you have, uh, God forbid, you know, like a cancerous disease or something like that, which is no fault of your own, you know, not, not, it's not, you know, caused by your lifestyle, you know, it's just a random thing that has happened to you. Now that is a test from Allah, it's calamities like that, you know, it's a test from Allah to basically test your uh, mental strength uh, into believing in Allah. So that's one of the things what I would say. Um... As for diseases, stuff like, um, for example, you know, like if you end up with diabetes, you know, and where you you have to, you know, cut parts of your body, etc., like that, that's self-inflicted, obviously. So that that is from your own error in that regard. But like, for example, calamities which befall you, you know, like. you know, uh, bad which happens, etc. Um, like I just said, you know, the example I gave, you know, like if you have a, a disease, God forbid, which is no fault of your own lifestyle or anything like that, then that's from God. So you just got to be steadfast and be patient and just pray to Allah that Allah makes it easy for you. As well as that, if you're suffering and it's no fault of your own, you know what I mean? Uh, be patient, be steadfast, and try to, you know, just pray to God that, you know, inshallah, Allah makes it easy for you and um, grants you a heaven in the afterlife. I hope this, is, this video has helped in some way. Um, I think the main thing, what you got to learn from this is the intention is going to be for Allah's sake. That, that's what, what, what it is. Um, if you truly believe in Allah, then that's, that, that is the, you know, that is the main factor. Uh, so, that's it for me. Inshallah, I hope this has helped people out um, in some way. Um, that's all I got to say, I don't know. Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be with you.